Linear inequalities can be solved in a very similar way to linear equations. There is just one, one tiny little thing that you have to watch out for, and I will come on to that uh, in a minute. But for the moment, let's just treat it like an equation. If I wanted to solve this, I would minus 4x from both sides of the inequality. And if I did that, the left-hand side of the inequality would give me 2x plus 5. I've still got my less than sign. And I've got just 11 on the right-hand side. My next step to isolate my x's on one side and my numbers on the other would be to minus 5 from both sides. Which would leave me 2x on the left-hand side of the uh, inequality is less than 6. Okay, and hopefully we can see here that by dividing by 2 on both sides of the inequality leaves me with x being less than 3. Now we can show this on a number line. If I just draw a number line along the bottom here and put some numbers on it, so let's say uh, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Hopefully you'll be able to see that x being less than 3 means that it can be anywhere in this little section here. To show this on a number line, what we do is put a circle at the number 3, which is our limit, and draw a line showing all the possible values of x. So that shows me that x can be uh, anything less than 3. If I change my question slightly and change it to a less than or equal sign, I could change my signs all the way through the question. So my final answer would be x is less than or equal to 3. In which case, I colour in my dot on the number line, and that is the only difference. So, I mentioned that there was one slight difference between a linear equation and a linear inequality. And let's look at what this is. So, what about if this time I minused 6x instead of minusing 4x from both sides? Now, your intuition might tell you that this isn't a great move because it will mean that I'm left with a negative number of x's on the right-hand side, but bear with me. If I minus 6 from the left-hand side, I get 5. I am still left with a less than sign, and I now have negative 2x plus 11. My next step, again, to isolate the x's and the numbers would be to minus 11 from both sides, giving me minus 6 on the left-hand side of the inequality and minus 2x on the right-hand side of the inequality. And this is where the trick occurs. Whenever you times or divide an inequality by a negative number, all you do is turn the sign around. So, for instance, here, I'm going to want to divide by negative 2. Well, we know that minus 6 divided by minus 2 gives me 3. Because I am dividing by a negative number, the less than sign actually changes to a greater than sign. And minus 2x divided by minus 2 is just x. Again, we get the same answer. x is less than 3, or red 3 is greater than x in this case. And we can, again, create the number line here with the numbers minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. x is less than 3, so I'm going to put a circle at the limit of 3, and I know that x can be less than that.